Hi, and thanks for watching another video. Um, this is Rick Perry. My web blog is Pro Audio Development, located at rickcperry.com. Today we have the Yamaha M7CL console, and we are going to update it. And I'm going to run through the procedure on updating here. It's been a while since I updated, so I figured let's go for it. So first thing you want to do, <clears throat> get you a flash drive, and let's insert it. Okay. And so now we got this window that's going to pop up here. So what we want to do is we want to make a backup of everything. So we'll just call it uh, backup. How about that? Okay, now it's going to go through. It's going to save the scenes. There's all the EQ libraries and everything. Okay, there you go. That should be your backup now. So now, whenever you get finished running through your setup, or your update procedure, then you'll need to load these back in. I'll show you that in a little bit. <clears throat> so anyway, so we got that done so we can close that down. So now, um, you would actually go and you download the update file, and you would unzip it, and you'll have four update files you want to drag and drop those onto the root directory <clears throat> of the drive. If you don't know what that is, basically as soon as you open that drive on my computer, it would be in the initial list of files. In other words, you should not have to go through any folders to get to that file. So, okay, now basically uh, we'll shut the... All right, I've already done this, but I was going to say basically we'll shut down all the amplifiers to the system. So we've got all the amps shut down, so now we can just turn the board off and on at the back here. So I should be able to reach back here. Once I find the power button. Okay, there's the board shut off. Now we should be able to power it on. And it should see Checking USB storage, found, start loading. Yes. <clears throat> There's our version 355 update. It saw that. If you have a failure during this, it tells you that you can restart this. And as you start, you can hold the recall and the arrow up. And it's kind of like a fail-safe mode. It'll go in and reinitialize the memory, you know, clear everything out. And you can start over. But you really want to make sure nothing goes wrong during this procedure. You don't want any power failures. Um, <laughs> it While you're writing data to this, when you're updating the firmware... This is the base software, and you might not get a second shot at it. This can take a while sometimes, so we're going to see how long it takes. <clears throat> I may have to edit this. <clears throat> Excuse me. I may have to edit this if it takes too long. I'm still going to keep recording, and we'll just see how long it takes. I don't want to shoot like a 10-minute long video of you watching this thing load. But the last time I done this, it, it went fairly quick. And it says done. This must be the second file that's loading. See my screen's kind of dirty. <laughs> Need to clean that thing. You touch it all day long, so. And 
and it's going a little bit farther. Okay, that's an unusual amount of silence there. <clears throat> well, anyway, I'll just show you that uh, we got this board set up. We're waiting on the update. I got this board set up here. Is my 32 channels, which I try to use exclusively. This other side over here, I use it for, you know, the, the pastor's countryman, talk back. The, I moved this drum reverb over to this group. It's on here now. And I don't have this relabeled because I just did this not long ago. And then uh, my Pro Tools, which is this computer over here. I'm actually copying files right now. But I actually send my 32 channels of Pro Tools over here to this computer. Oh, hold on. We got a reboot now. Let's see what we got here. It should ask me to initialize. Normally it would have already popped up by now if you're just doing a standard uh, startup of the console. But during this firmware update, this is where it's going to probably hang for a minute or so. I tell you, at this point, if it hangs for more than a couple of minutes, and there, my faders just went down. Okay, see, it's asking. It was upgraded to initialize all memories. Let's close this, and then initialize, and then yes. <clears throat> you now they tell you if it hangs on that one screen, that you'll shut it off and you'll restart it, holding these two buttons down. And that's going to force it to initialize. What happens is it freaks out because it's got different memory locations you're writing to. And all our faders are down. Probably when they, when they all slide up, it's probably going to be completely done. If you really dig deep in this manual and look, you can do fader calibrations. There's all kind of cool tricks that you can do to this thing when you're in this diagnostic mode. Okay, to close the startup menu <clears throat> screen, press the exit button or select the mode. So this is where we would do initialize the memories, <clears throat> uh, touch screen calibration, import, yada yada, all this stuff, fader calibration. This is the menu that you'd go to to do those things. So if you get a fader that's a little jittery or a fader that just, you know, won't work exactly right, you can do a calibration. So we're going to exit. And that should be it. Right now we have no scenes uh, saved on this thing, so yeah. See, all the all the scenes are blank now. So now we'll go to setup. There's our version 355. So we have successfully upgraded the firmware. So now we'll go to the um, save load, and we're going to go to the it says back up right here. I had another M7 that I backed up. Uh, 1218. This is all right here. Okay. So we're going to load that. And if the load is successful, I should have about 14 uh, scenes, which is usually my services. I'll start. Scene 10 is my rehearsal. 11 starts my songs. Uh, we'll do four or five songs on a Sunday, so I should have scene 11 through 14 or 11 through 15. Should actually be on this thing when I'm done. And the faders are about to move here in just a second, too. Oh, let's see this one. Okay, there it goes on my faders. My channels are on. Let's turn those off.
my timer on my video so far is at like 10 minutes and 25 seconds. So this shows you about how long it's going to take you to upgrade your console. Okay, there you go. You, uh, let's get back here. And, uh, there's my scene. So you can see the scenes I was talking about. So we'll go down here. There's my rehearsal. And Angels, Born King, O Come All Ye. Whoop. Oh, sorry, I hit that button there. Here's all your, uh, your scenes. And then there's all the way down to one. So, yeah. There's all the scenes back. There should be some others here from concerts. So we'll go back here to uh, All Creation. That's the scene that I was on the last service today. And that's how you upgrade the firmware on the Yamaha M7CL. Um, hopefully this helps. Uh, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to leave me a comment. Uh, leave me a question, whatever. Come to my website, rickcperry.com. If you read the PDF... Uh, manual that's on their Yamaha website. It'll tell you exactly how to do this. I just skimmed over the con the uh, PDF today, but I'm basically doing this by memory. So it, de it doesn't take rocket science to, to do this. So upgrade your console and get all the latest effects and, and all the patches and all the neat little things that come with the updates. You might not see them, but eventually one day you'll say, oh, okay, that's that was in the update. So anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next video.